The next thing you want to do is some special tests of the shoulder. Um, the first test of which is Nears test. So this is to assess whether there is any subacromial impingement. So this is where there is impingement of the rotator cuff um, muscles uh, between the acromion process and the greater tuberosity of the humerus. So what you want to do is have the patient um, sitting comfortably, support the scapula from behind, have the patient in pronation and internal rotation of the humerus, and then whilst supporting the elbow, bring them into forward flexion. A positive nearest test, will uh, the patient will experience some pain underneath the acromion process. The next test to perform is the Hawkins test. So in this case, you want to once again support the scapula from behind, flex forward flexion of the shoulder to 90 degrees and also of the elbow to 90 degrees. And then what you want to do is internally rotate um, the shoulder, the glenohumeral joint. And what that will do is bring the greater tuberosity in contact with the acromion. And if there's impingement, the patient will also experience pain. So you can do this at the front in 30 degrees of abduction. So 30 degrees of abduction, and then also 90 degrees of abduction as well. So in this case, it is negative. The next thing you want to do is the empty can test, and this assesses the supraspinatus tendon. So what you want to do is ask the patient to bring the arms up to the side of them with the hands, the thumbs up in the air, bring their hands forward to 30 degrees. Okay. Just a little bit more, okay. And then pretend that they're holding two cans of Coke and they're emptying them so that in that position. And then you want to gently push on the, on the, on the wrist, like so, and like so. And they may experience pain on the shoulder and subacromial impingement uh, as well. 